people check it out we're back at it again with another slap exercise this one is really going to challenge you especially if you're just starting to get into the slap game let's go so some of you that may know me and well some of you may not you know that I like to create exercises that have grooves to them I like to create exercises that are practical in your everyday playing I like to create exercises that are fun so with this slap exercise is simply a thumb in an index movement but with slap you have to be just as versatile with your right hand or your plucking hand just as much as you are with your left hand or your fretting hand. So we're going to put this together. We're going to go one by one, hand by hand. So for the first hand, this exercise is very simple. You're going to go thumb, pluck the A string. So first, E, A. You're going to do it again. So we have E, A, E, A. Then we're going to do thumb, pluck starting on the A string. Thumb, pluck. So it's going to be A, D. So thumb hitting the A, the index hitting the D string. So we're not going to let any of these strings ring out. We're just going to muffle them for right now. But I just want to show you exactly what notes you're going to be playing. That's why they're ringing out right now. So first off, we have thumb pluck twice on the E string, starting on the E string. So E, A, E, A. Next string down, you have A, D, A, D. The next string down, you have E, G, D, G. Simple, right? Okay, so now when you put it all together, it sounds really cool, but by itself, it sounds like you're really not doing anything. And so the thing about this movement, it may seem simple, but when you get into it and you add that fretting hand, it may get a little bit difficult in transition. So what you want to do is practice that flow, the thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck, boom, bump. And in this case, we're doing straight 16th notes. Two, three, four, one E and a two E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a three E and a four. Very simple. Okay. So E string first, A string next, D string next. Okay. Now that you have that, practice that back and forth with the strings muffled. Want to slow this down at your own pace, obviously, if you want to, just for time's sake, I'm just taking it here at 80 uh, BPM, okay? And now we're going to bring in the fretting hand. So luckily in our case, the fretting hand isn't doing too much, but you still have to be on point. The rhythms have to be right on that beat to match the left hand and the right hand. Okay, so this is what I mean. One, one, four, four. Or you can do one, one, three, three. So this is what I'm doing. One for the G. And then the C is going to play the same finger, the same formation. So, so we're playing fourths basically. So G, C, A, D. Sometimes I do it a little bit different. Sometimes you may see me do one, one, three, four on the same exact fret. So just kind of, you know, measure it out. See how you like it. See what fits you. See what feels best to you. And the whole entire exercise, this is the fingering that you're going to be doing. So one, one, four, four, one, one, four, four across the board. Okay. And in this case, just in case you were wondering what it is, we're playing an A minor pentatonic scale. Okay. So we're playing a variation of that starting on the seventh note or the flat seven. <laughs> So playing an A minor pentatonic scale. If we were playing the natural minor scale that goes along with that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're starting on that seven, on that G of the pentatonic scale. And just to go over this quickly, the notes that are included in the minor pentatonic scale, the A minor pentatonic scale, we have A, C, D, E, G, back to A. So now let's put it all together. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that first shift up the fretboard. So from the third fret to the fifth fret, now you're going to play first finger on the fifth fret. Play that D and G. Okay, so it's a very quick movement. And you're actually playing that same note twice. So G, C, A, D, D, G. See that? 
and then the rest of the way the the rest of the way up is pretty simple okay now let's take it back down let's go back down actually yeah let's go back down and i chose to do it this way for a certain reason so we're still keeping that thumb pluck thumb pluck thumb pluck so for the way back down we're going to play starting on a to the d then a whole step down g c just as if we started it the first way or going up or ascending this exercise we got thumb pluck thumb pluck next string down same exact routine okay and then here we're going to go to the a get it so i'm just grouping it up as if it were you know groups of two together right here a okay And it turned out to be a pretty nice little groove uh, just using the minor pentatonic scale. Just get you used to playing the thumb pluck type of motion. I know we've done uh, different rhythms and different variations with the thumb and the pluck, uh, but this one is a little bit different. So we can actually, um, you know, make some different phrases and melodies and, you know, different slap lines out of it. As you can see in the beginning when I was playing along with this, this drum groove here. <laughs> So as you can see, you can do many things and different variations with this exercise. Uh, take it slow, make sure you know it's come out clean, clear, and precise. Back and forth, get that motion going. Doom, da, doom, da. That's gonna be the most difficult thing about this exercise. Add the first hand, the plucking hand first, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. Uh, your plucking hand, try to incorporate that first and then add your fretting hand afterwards and then put them together so they can mesh well, okay? So like I said, make sure you know it's coming out clean, clear, and precise. If you guys are new here, Please subscribe. That red subscribe button is down here or down here. I always get it wrong. Either way, red subscribe button, click the notification bell icon. Sometimes I'm starting starting to post a little bit more, uh, maybe throughout the week, but it's definitely for uh, once a week, absolutely definite, uh, that we'll be posting on this channel. So uh, if you're new here, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Comment down below. Let me know what you like or if you didn't like or what you're working on or where you are in your bass journey oh yeah and if you're interested in just getting better and enhancing your bass playing skills this is not where it stops the bass nation academy is where you need to be also uh we have live classes more personal feedback from me another you know it's just another learning platform that's a little bit more organized and uh easier to learn on that way so we have that available link is going to be in the description you guys are awesome Thank you so much for coming back every single week, watching these videos. I uh, enjoy my time with you guys. I'll check you in the next one.